hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to install your iReport designer and how to download your Jasper report jar files and add those jar files into your NetBeans Java project in this video I will show you how to use this iReport designer so let's get started the first step as you can see here is to connect the database with your report so I will do this I will click this and I want to connect or, or have the JDBC connection so this is first One, so I will click it and I will click next and in here you can see so many database connection if you are using MySQL then click this MySQL com MySQL JDBC driver and here you just need to include your database name as it says so I will replace here my database name all will remain same JDBC MySQL localhost and instead of this database name I will paste my database name and if you have some username or password for your MySQL database then you can enter this my username is root and password is something so you can enter this and when you click test it will ask for the password once again give your password and now it says connection test successful so in this way you can connect your mysql database but in our project we are using sqlite sqlite as we say so we need to connect sqlite file first so in order to connect SQLite database with your Jasper report what you need to do is go here extras beside help and click option and this will open this option window and then click class path here what you need to do is you need to add the, a jar file so click add jar and here you need to add your SQLite connector jar file which is this SQLite JDBC version 56 or whatever is your SQLite connection jar file this file you have also used to connect your NetBeans with the SQLite database so this you might know this is SQLite JDBC version 56 or version my might be revised so you have to see this just click this and click open so you have added your jar file connection and now click ok after that you click this create a database connection and once again click data 
base JDBC connection and click next and in here when you click this combo box you will not find any proper driver for your SQLite database so what you need to do is just go to your NetBeans project and go to the connection java connection class or java connect class this is my java connect class and in this somewhere you have written here org.sqlite.jdbc so this you have to copy this is the code to connect your sqlite with the netbeans ide on java so you need to copy this org.sqlite.jdbc and paste it here after that the next step is once again go to your netbeans java and copy this second get connection path and instead of this jdbc url paste your database file here if you have your database file or sqlite database file into your source folder or folder that is netbeans uh, folder then you don't need to change this path but for the safety i will click to my database file which is dot sqlite file I will right click it go to its properties and I will copy its path whole path and I will go to my Jasper report and after JDBC SQLite instead of this you will paste the whole path here so this in this way you have given the path for your database and as you know you will require double slashes here so add double slashes all the way so you have added double slashes so you just need to do two things in the JDBC driver you need to write org.sqlite.jdbc and in the JDBC URL you need to write JDBC SQLite or and after that your path and the other thing is you need to include your JDBC SQLite jar file as I have said after writing this you will click test to check the connection and I have no password so I will click OK and you can see connection test successful so in this way I know that my connection is successful and now I can proceed with my report I will just click save in order to save my connections okay I haven't provided my connection name so I will write in the name as SQLite connection just here you need to provide the name and then save and your connections are saved in this way you can connect your mysql database or 
SQLite database with your iReport designer. The next step is to create a new report and we will join some database values into your reports this will be our next step so that's it for this tutorial in the next video i will show you how to make a new report with the help of i report designer thanks for watching and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now